Let's get on. <laughs> so I lost her. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Alex, the coolest woodworker in the world. I'm currently here uh, to get to meet my uh, friend Alexander, who uh, apparently is the uh, the coolest woodworker in the world. Oh, yeah. I got this idea that I want to shoot something that looks really, really cool, basically. Like, something looks cool. I'm gonna use the Sony a7 III together with the 24mm f1.4 G Master lens. And I will shoot this entire sequence in S-Log2, which I'm gonna post all the different settings that I've set up my own profile down below. So you can check that out if you wanna do that. We're gonna shoot in 120 FPS. The reason that I'm shooting this in 120 frames per second and not 100 frames is because I have complete control over the lighting. So the lights here, will not flicker because they are not turned on. And I'm also using my Godox SL150 that I recently ordered because I didn't think that my SL60 had like just enough juice to be able to use for something like this. So it costs like 300 bucks and I definitely thought that it was going to be a good investment for this channel. Let's get to Witana. We did prepare like a short shot list that I'm gonna put in like right here so you can see how that looks. And basically what we did was going through that entire process of creating one of these tablet holders to make sure what kind of like scenes that we're actually gonna capture in this sequence. We can put that in front. So if we can press it right. Dream! Very nice! When you want to follow the movement of the subject that you got, you want to try to keep your camera as steady as possible and move it like that. Because when you do that, you get way more like fluid motion in your shot. And always try to think about the framing when you're setting up your shot that you want to have. Try to use the rule of thirds. If your camera has it, then you can just like frame your shot according to that, because that will make it so much better looking than if you just like have your subject in center all the time. When I'm shooting stuff like this in manual focus, it is really, really important that I'm actually like setting the focus for like the end scene or like the end end how do you say it like the end part of the shot and when i'm shooting with manual focus in these cameras the sony a7 iii and the sony a7 r3 i always use focus peaking because if you do not use focus peaking it's really hard to see where the focus is but you know daniel schiffer and probably james matthews as well they don't use that so i don't know how they are getting those kind of shots Ja, men det blir bra. Mm. Den blir bra. Du sätter ner den och så går jag hela vägen ut och sen gör jag en sån. Mm. Right? Och kör. Kör. Mm. 
So I have been using the uh, 24 millimeter G Master lens for uh, like a couple of my sequence now and I actually really like it when I'm shooting in manual because using this lens in autofocus is not good because it's really like it's hunting a lot in video mode but when you're using manual focus it is really good. Jag vill jag vill att du liksom skickar upp sen så. Om jag hämtar lite damm och lägger handen så att jag har kul. Och kör. Uff, där! <laughs> Kolla här! Huh? What is it? Swedish fika. And we call that? Uh, Kaffe kaka. Kaffe kaka. We have a lot of fika here in Sweden. We have like 7 a.m. when you get to work. And then you have like 9 a.m. and then 12. And then 3. And then uh, maybe like after dinner at like 6 p.m. Yeah, let's fika. <laughs> Du kanske jag vill ha en scen där du står och handlar lite. Du lite... I'm shooting this whole sequence between f1.8 and f2.8, depending on what kind of light that we have set up because like if we go any lower than that it's really really hard to get like the right thing in focus because it's such a short how do you say depth of field when you're shooting an f1.4 so 1.8 to 2.8 somewhere around that is really good time to hand now So when you're shooting these kind of like small YouTube sequences, you want to make sure that the story that you're telling is going to be something. For example, in this case, he's building something and we get to see the final result. So we have the like start, middle, end and uh, get the all the different shots that we want to have. James Matthews and Daniel Schiffer are huge inspirations to me as of right now because I really really enjoy shooting these kind of videos and they are providing like insane content so highly appreciate that they are sharing their knowledge so that I can take part of that and then I try to share my kind of knowledge so that maybe you can take part of that too but again if you're not following Daniel and James definitely go and check them out because they are really really good That is a wrap, huh? What do you say, Alexander? That's a wrap. <laughs> give me, give me a wrap song. <laughs> My name is Alex. I'm a woodworker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you think? Was, was it fun? Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, I had a good time too. It was like, I think it like I. I I haven't seen the edit yet, but I think like I got a feeling that this is gonna look really, really good. Best of the best. Because we have a cool woodworker like. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. See you next time. Yes, it was a blast and uh oh no, man uh hold it bro. Hold it good. Hello. <laughs>